Hi everyone. Um, so I wanted to come on here and share some information uh, about my VSG journey. So I, I'm a little more active on Instagram for X's Fly because that's where I share most of my journey and I've been sharing just things here and there, uh, working out. I'm working out with a friend three times a week and so we each have a bike, so we do biking. That's been really good. And then I bought a sweet sweat band, which it so works. I was a little skeptical, but because I worked out without it, same pace, you know, um, I wasn't sweating in my midsection. And as soon as I got the band, it worked. So the first time I ordered, I think it was a 2XL and it was huge. So I figured as I, you know, lose weight, it's going to be smaller anyway. So I got a large, which it barely fits, but it obviously it covers. So that's been helpful. And the one thing that I just shared was about my hair loss. And so I put that on the stories in Instagram. And if you want more like quick information here and there of what I experienced, um, you are welcome to check that out. I really don't do the videos as much anymore just because it's a lot to edit and um, it just it's a little more involved. But I do love when I do a video, I do love it and I do love getting like the comments here on YouTube. It's just, it's awesome to see the people that have found me and they'll say like, hey, my surgery's coming up. I can't wait to keep up with your journey. So I do appreciate that and I do wanna get into doing more videos, but for now, or at least until that changes, definitely check me out on uh, Instagram for Excess Fly. So as I was sharing about the hair loss, I am, next week will be three months out. Uh, so I guess like 15 weeks, I guess I'm at 14 weeks now. And the hair loss started, I would say, probably week nine, nine or 10, when I started noticing. Now my hair has always fallen out. That's not new, but I noticed the difference with like the hair coming out. And so what I shared today, and I'll just share it throughout this video, is the clumps that were coming out so they were like strands of hair um and i would put it on the wall because i wanted to see like okay this is in one shower um so i put it on the wall and it was a lot and you'll you'll notice um so then at the end i kind of like smushed them all together and that was a lot and then the brush so i did like a before and after on the brush i cleaned it first brushed it and my hair wasn't as tangled and a lot of hair came out of there too so obviously in the trash it was just a bigger it was almost double the clump of what I showed as far as what was on the shower wall um and throughout the day like even just picking it up and so doing this you know um I don't know if you can see that but that is kind of what comes out and so uh, in the car I mean it'll be all over me just doing that or just putting my hair up because sometimes I put my hair down it was wet this morning and then I'll put it up um and then I'll put it down and so the more movement it just it's going everywhere so these are kind of just I don't know maybe from how I was dyeing my hair because I just got my hair dyed like a week ago but there was one time where it got dyed and then like you know it kind of like where it pieces so I don't know if that's what that is because if you notice or maybe this is like postpartum hair from Balian he just turned two. I don't know, but it looks like it's fresh hair. So that's just good for you to get an idea. Um, but other than that, it's been good. I guess I'll go ahead and take advantage of this and, and just share an update. It, you know, I still meet with my therapist about sort of the eating disorder or the issues about the overeating. Um, that is very much a struggle. So if you are in doing this journey or thinking about doing this journey, it's definitely, people will tell you, oh, think about it. It's not an easy fix. We know that. I think we all in the community know that, or if you're about to be part of the community, but you just don't realize how major it is until you're on the other side. Um, I would say if you're at the beginning of the journey, meaning like you just had surgery and it's week one, two, and three, as hard as it is, and I tried to do this to myself at the beginning, enjoying the moment as hard as it is because you might be hungry or, man, you really wish you could move on to the soft food stage. Um, just enjoy the time that you have because it's there for a reason. Once you move on to the soft food stage, um, every side note, every experience is different. And I'm only sharing my experience, never giving advice, uh, just what I've been through. Um it just gets harder because now you're able to eat any and everything uh, as you test out if your new tummy accepts the foods, how it processes the foods. Um, 
and it's been a struggle. Um, I, I didn't want to be the person that was like, oh yeah, I ate this or I ate that, but I have. And unfortunately or fortunately, I don't really get sick. I haven't had issues. I will say it's just so funny that today my daughter had a Oreo cookie shake from Chick-fil-A. And so I was driving in traffic and that's another thing you have, you should be present when you're eating or drinking anything. I was driving in traffic a little stressed out, I'll be honest, and I was drinking it and, and it just went down fine. I didn't think much of it because I haven't really experienced except for the first few weeks as I was incorporating foods. And I think I shared already what it was, uh, you know, then it would send me to the restroom, which I, I think that was dumping syndrome. I'm not too sure. Very at the beginning, haven't had it since. Well, I got home and I felt completely sick, completely nauseous. So I don't know if it was the milk because I have been told like the dairy could be it, but I've had yogurt, I've had sour cream and I'm okay. That's where it kind of gets complicated. So this shake just made me feel awful. It did send me to the restroom. So I guess dumping syndrome, uh, but I wanted to throw up and I didn't. I just drank water. I went to go lay down. Um, it took a lot out of me like energy wise. So you know, that was that. This was the first time that I had a shake like that. Probably won't do it again for a very long time. Um, and I'm still in the meantime, in the midst of kind of dealing with all this and figuring things out for what I can eat, talking to my therapist about like why those behaviors happen. Why am I full, but I still want to eat if it's good and if it doesn't affect me. Um, so I definitely feel like I've been losing slowly, not as fast as others. Um, I hate to sound like a broken record. Everybody says it. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easier said than done. You know, deep down, you're always going to be like, oh man, they had surgery like the same day. They've been losing great. Um, I don't know. It just, it happens. Also, it depends on the choices for sure. And uh, I've had, you know, at first I was like no carbs, but then kind of listening to some accounts and they're like, well, you do need carbs and you need to learn how to change that relationship with food. I'm not there yet, but I've definitely incorporated carbs. And if it tastes good and it's no big deal or my stomach takes it, I'm like, oh, you know. So I've pushed, um, you know, past what I needed. So even being almost three months out, it is very possible. So I think you just have to be very, um, be very careful and pay attention to, you know, the food choices. It's best to weigh your food so you know about what you're eating and eat it slowly. My issue is eating fast. And even though it doesn't look like I eat fast, I'm like, oh, whatever. I feel like sometimes I'm eating and then I get like this burp sensation as my food is settling and it's like, okay, at that point you really should stop. But if you're eating fast, you're not realizing it until too late. So that's where I'm at. Um, obviously, I'm so thankful that I'm down even at this point, probably 25 pounds. Um, that is still good and I try to celebrate that. Um, so yeah, I mean, so far so good. I'm glad that I'm not where I used to be for sure. That's, that's, I'm thankful for that. Um, and also I will mention going back to the whole hair loss thing, as I mentioned in my stories, I'm not concerned about it because a, we're told this all the time. Like if you're part of the Facebook groups of life before and after VSG or any gastric, um, or bariatric, uh, group, people will say that, oh my gosh, I'm so worried. Oh, you know, any tips. And I think, from what I've heard from other people, yeah, you can try biotin and stuff like that, but it really is about getting your protein in. I think I'm getting mine in, but it also could just be the luck of the draw. So I'm trying not to add the stress of like, oh my gosh, that's a lot. It is a lot, but I'm just trying to remain calm and not adding to the stress of like, oh no, what's happening? I do have a lot of hair. So if, you know, a lot is falling out, I don't think it's really noticeable right now, but I'll just show this. So this is It'd be nice to kind of come back and see where I'm at later. So, and I think I did show this a few months ago. I'll see if I can find the picture. I just did it as like a pre, oh, this is where I'm at. So yeah, um, so far so good though. And overall, I feel good. Um, I feel like I am able, able to move more. Um, and excited that I'm able to have like a, a workout partner from both of our homes three days a week. And if I can do more, I do more. But that's good, and it's a positive, and we're moving in the right direction. So that's it for now with the update. Uh, if anything else comes up, uh, I'd like to share. But if you have questions, please leave them down below. I'd love to answer them. And be sure to follow me on Instagram so that you can keep up with like the little things that kind of happen day to day, or I do share meals. 
Um, yeah, I share a little information on there. So with that being said, thank you for uh, tuning in and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.